Hey friends, today I'm here to share some of my top tips on how you can create Christmas cards that you, your friends, and family will absolutely love featuring the festive Christmas collection. So before we get started, let's take a look at some of the beautiful cards that you're gonna be able to create based on what we learned together today. So whether you want to create these beautiful, soft, pastel Christmas palettes, you can do that. This is the card we're going to be creating together. We're going to use the cute little birdies. So whether you want to have these cute, soft, pastel little birdies, or you want something that is just a bright pop and super festive, these little birdies are gonna be able to be paired along with a lantern to create these cozy Christmas scenes. Absolutely love, love the beauty, the simplistic ness um, of it, and you can pair them with your poinsettias. Absolutely amazing on how you can really custom color these little birdies to have them look so many different ways. Now, if it's not Christmas, you could also cut off these little birdies and use them um, in other cards as well. So really keep that in mind um, when you are creating with these. So you are the artists of this collection and I can't wait to see what you create. But together we're gonna to step through the process of how you can create just an, a Christmas card ensemble that you will absolutely love. So we have this one and we have um, different size variations so you can really cluster these together and create beautiful little scenes based on what you are wanting to create for this Christmas season. Um, so to get started, we are going to use a combination of the festive berry and birdies set. This is a stamp that has three different iconic Christmas images. Absolutely love the Merry Christmas. This one is super unique in the fact that it is very petite in how it can get cut out with a coordinating die. And I absolutely love, love that feature. So when you have those little areas that you wanna put Christmas sentiments, we have more than just this one. So hey, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you those as well. So to get started, when you are creating with these, we're gonna show you some simple coloring techniques that you can bring into um, for your Christmas cards this year. So I just went ahead and we stamped these with the English Ivy. Um, and you can do this, you know, in the evening when you are watching TV, just stamp a bunch of these images and then you can go back and color them. So what I'm gonna do is just show you some simple coloring techniques. Now, if you are a colorist, um, you are gonna be good to go with this. But you, if you are one of my crafting friends that's like, Emily, I love what I'm seeing, but I really am not confident in coloring. Utilize these simple techniques and practice, practice, practice. The more you do, the better you'll become at it. And just consistency is key and just really kind of focusing on what you're learning um, while you're doing that. I'm just using like a clear, um, this is a cover I use for my cards. I'm using the Zig markers and the Carmine Red marker. So we're gonna go ahead and use our watercolor pen and dip some of that red off. And we're going to start adding some of that color to this point set. I'm just gonna leave my red marker behind for a little bit. And we're going to add some color right in here. It's a little bit more difficult coloring when you're holding it up in the air, but I really want you to be able to see that. Um, so just go in and when you first hit your paper, it's going to be a little bit darker um, and then you can just fade out. So I just start in the area that I wanna have that darkest part and then I just fade that out. So this is a really brilliant way in getting color onto an image very quickly, very easily, and it is so, so stunning. Um, so with these images, they are filled with little festive birdies. They're filled with petite poinsettias and berries and holly leaves. And then there's a beautiful lantern, and these will be paired very nicely with um, decorative dies that we've launched in the past. They can be paired with your window scenes. They are really designed to create those cozy winter scenes that really celebrate and embrace the ambience of the cozy winter season. Um, so I can't wait for you to experience the joy and the creativity of creating these beautiful festive little scenes um, using these images. So I'm just going back, hitting those little berries, and then you can switch your route to um, your greens. I am using two colors of green. I'm using a light green and deep green. So I'm gonna do the, deep, the light green first. Just make sure all your red is off and then you can go dip back into that and just go over your uh, holly leaves and give that underlying color. Um, or if you wanted to, you could always do this with an ink. That is this color as well. Um, the Vivid Chartreuse in the Archival Ink would be brilliant with this too. I'm just gonna do a partial color of this image because we're gonna use sections. So 
You're also gonna learn how you can cut these apart um, to section them out today, which is really fun. It really helps you build a pretty scenes. So this one I'm switching to the darker green um, and we're just gonna add a little bit of that green right into those leaves, okay? So that just adds a little pop of green. So it doesn't need to be complicated. Um, what I really like about this is just kind of breaking down the complexities of coloring and keeping it super simple so that you can enjoy it and really enjoy the card making um, season when you're making those um, Christmas cards. Um, now, the little birdies, I already colored the birdies that I need, um, but you can make these so many different colors. And I like to do festive birdies, but I wanted to um, do a simple coloring technique with these, which is just a dark oatmeal. Um, so that will just make a little brown uh, fuzzy birdie. But if you like a colorful one, you can make pink bellies and red bellies and blue bellies. And you know what? You're the artist, so you can make them any color you want. The, the, the true bird doesn't need to exist in nature. And that's what we really wanted to highlight in this uh, collection is just a Christmas birdie. It's not necessarily like a cardinal or a specific bird. It is just this cozy little Christmas birdie that you can attach to your cards. Um, so when you're um, going ahead and coloring this, just bring that little oatmeal color in and you have that little birdie colored in no time flat. But you can definitely go back and just do some vibrant Christmas colors in there too. So um, you can choose based on what works with the color themes that you are going to be working with this Christmas season. So your next step um, is just going to go ahead and layer these onto your card base. Um, now you can Keep these as simple or as complex as you want. It's totally up to you. Um, I am showing you a very um, beautiful four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. Uh, we did go ahead and we cut an oval into this card um, so that you have kind of that window opening. Um, and then that just gives kind of that clear illusion, which is really beautiful. And I absolutely love it. Um, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and um, when you cut these, just, just layer those all together. You can um, go ahead and glue these pieces together and cut this out at the same time. Now this Merry Christmas was stamped in the background with the carnation red, and then we went back over it, stamped an embossing powder over the top, so it gives it kind of an illusion. So that's just kind of what I call a, a uh, frosting technique, meaning it's an option if you want to go uh, to the next level when you are creating your Christmas cards this year. Um, so even cutting the oval in the center, that's an option. Um, you can also just utilize the beautiful decorative papers within this collection and add those um, little festive birdies on top very quickly and it makes a stunning Christmas card. So you can keep it as simple or as um, you know elegant as you want. Now we did take a clear cardstock, stamped it in white and embossed it. Now when you emboss on this, just be careful because this is clear cardstock, it can melt, and you will have some residue of the embossing powder in the back. So just be very careful when you do that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to glue this onto our card base and that is going to give us this, this clear kind of window opening um, when we're adding this on. So I feel like that really um, helps you build a scene um, that is so pretty um, to look at. Um, now the papers within this collection are phenomenal. I would highly recommend stack up on them so you have them for years to come. Uh, the palette is stunning. I can't wait, wait um, to share that with you. Um, so we're going to look at that closer to the end. So we'll focus on putting our card base together. So you have your card base together and then you can go ahead and pull in your decorative accent dies. So um, I brought in this one. If you need to know um, any of the items that we're using, just let us know in the comments. Um, but we also, oops, this is on the wrong side. If you do that, you can brush the glue off. Um, you could sprinkle some glitter over the top. I needed to do this on the back because we're going to add a gold layer um, to this as well. So we're gonna go ahead and just offset this. And ta-da, so, so pretty. Um, so when you're doing this at home, you can keep it as simple or as complex as you like. If you wanted to uh, put a little bit of a ribbon in the background, you could totally do that. I'm going to keep that off today, but you can always add those little extra embellishments in there. Kind of looks like the little birdies are nesting. Um, so we're going to go ahead, bring this on top, and that oval will just beautifully frame that. So there you have the background um, for your card base. Now, I don't know about you, but Christmas seems to come a little bit quicker every single year, so now's a great time to just get started and just really enjoy the creativity of creating Christmas cards. Um, and when you do a little bit at a time, by the time Christmas rolls around, you will be one of those crafters that's like, I am so glad I did versus I wish I would have. 
Um, so I am going to put these stamp side down and we're going to shape these. Um, I'm using like the three millimeter tip and just going in a soft circular motion. If you go to larger sections for the birdie's belly, if you want to keep it really smooth, you can go to like the five millimeter tip and that will give you just a really nice uh, curvature in those bird's bellies. So go to a smaller section into those berries. You can just kind of give those just a press push motion and you can go back in the front, press down in the middle, and you'll have that beautiful little branch all with a curvature into the birdies, which makes it look very real life. So for this one, since this is a little bit bigger image, I will just kind of trace along the back to give that some uh, depth and dimension, flip it stamp side up, and then just kind of press down in the areas that I think it needs it. Now these will pair very beautifully with poinsettias that you have, especially the teeny tiny poinsettias that you have. If you don't have those yet, I would highly recommend adding those to your orders. Um, those I know are going to um, be more spotlighted and highlighted and don't want you to miss out on getting those petite poinsettias that you might not have yet. So keep that in mind um, when you are shopping for those. Now when you are putting these on, uh, one thing that I like to do is if you take a gold uh, piece and just layer it to the background, that really gives you a really pretty um, image that kind of outlines those little birdies and just gives them the extra pop and sparkle uh, for the holiday season. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue those together. And I think you'll love, love how that all turns out. Um, now these images, you can use them all connected and build little uh, Christmas scenes that way. However, you can cut them apart and that's what we're going to do to get with our time together today. So oh, I just cannot wait for you to experience the joy and the magic of creating with these sweet little birdies. Um, they'll just, I feel like they just kind of wiggle their way into your heart. Oop, that branch was sticking up. I'm trying to pull through. Okay, so there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and layer the rest of these. Now, I am not going to be using every single piece of these since this is a smaller card. So just kind of keep that in mind when you are creating with these. And I might have to re-glue the gold just depending on where I cut. Um, but we're just going to offset this a little bit. You'll see I didn't cut color the entire image there, but that's okay. And then we're going to go ahead and just do that very same thing on these as well. And then we'll cut those apart and layer those on. So I love that you have the versatility and option to uh, keep these all connected as a single image, but then you can cut them apart and just have a lot of fun with it that way too. So with this one, um, we have the little uh, birdie branch kind of here on the bottom um, and we snipped it apart pretty much right in this section. So we're going to do that. So we have one birdie getting disconnected there. We'll sit up front, sit on the top and we'll go ahead and bring this down in this section. We'll just glue that in. And you can kind of have, just have some fun with them um, however you want to layer these together. Um, I am going to go ahead and snip a part of these um, so that you have some poinsettias and, and just have some different ways that you can put these together. Um, so we're just going to go into this section, just snip this apart and bring that in. And we'll just kind of make our own little ensemble here. So you could bring this in on this side or you could bring it in on this side. So you can totally um, switch your route, do what you like. For mine today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it in here and I'm just going to pop it right in behind this little birdie here and you have that spray going up in there. So it's a little bit different variation than my original card. So you can really just have some fun um, with that. I'm just going to re-glue this with my hot glue so that sticks immediately. And we can continue. Here we go. Um, then we'll just cut this one off as well. Just kind of trim in there. And this will bring us a beautiful backdrop. And then you have other pieces in there with that other little birdie up here that you could totally utilize as well. Um, so we're going to go ahead and glue this piece down in here. And then we can pop this little bird up in the section as well. And then you can go back, add some more pieces of greenery if you feel like it needs it, which sometimes when you add these and cluster them together, you're like, oh yeah, I want um, one in here. So I'm going to put another one right in there. So I'm just going to get a little small section of the leaf. Oops, that little stylus just rolled off my desk. And we'll bring that in here. So you can add as much or as little as you want and just kind of mix and match and um, just have some fun with that. 
And then last but not least, you can add the sentiments. I love, love, love the sentiments, and we're going to um, have a closer look at those in just a little bit. I have tons of samples in front of me that I'm so excited to show you. Um, design team members from all around the globe have been creating with these, and they're so, so pretty. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and add this Christmas. Now, what I love about this is this is the first time we launched a sentiment that was so petite that was also die cut out. So you've got the stamped sentiment, but then it's also cut out. So you can really easily add it and mix it and match it into like small areas and do so much with it. So I just love the versatility of that. Um, so from there, you can really switch it up. Um, this is a shaker card doing a very similar concept and, and doing some uh, beautiful prills and glitter on the inside, adding those birdies. Um, so there is a set that has some bigger berries. Um, some of the sets have feature more of the poinsettias, and then this is a bigger birdie in here. Um, the second set within the festive Christmas set is the Christmas holly accents. This one has more like the bigger birdies I was talking about with the hollies, and then it has these words, which I absolutely love. Um, how you can cut them apart, you can um, utilize those, and you'll see those throughout the cards. I'll uh, point them out. Actually, right here is a really great example of that. Wishing you a wonderful Christmas. Love that. You can accent it with gold. Add those little berry birdies on top. Add your poinsettias, and you're good to go. The last stamp, which really pulls it all together, is the Christmas Lantern. This one has some more sentiments in it, the Merry Christmas, and so we have different versions of Christmas sentiments that you can mix and match and put in. And then this one is the Christmas Lantern um, that has some of its separate berries and that beautiful lantern. So let's take a look um, at these. Now as we go through, just kind of keep in mind um, looking at the beautiful papers. Actually, you know what? Let's look at the papers before we look at the card samples. So the papers, um, they have beautiful hues of blues, a kind of uh, peppermint winter green, um, which I really love, just the deep hues that um, you see in here, those beautiful birdies, card front panels, you can just cut them apart, use them really nicely, and then you have those beautiful tags to finish that all off. So, are you ready to see some of those card samples? So, um, this one is the one with the lantern, um, so you can really utilize that more as an iconic focal image and then just go from there. So I'm gonna show you some more with like the lantern and the birdies mixed together, uh, utilizing some of the decorative background windows. Super, super stunning. Um, there you've got the beautiful birdie topping um, that lantern as well. Here you've got the lantern to the side of a decorative die and then you have that beautiful sentiment. You can easily 3D those by just cutting multiple layers from the cardstock, stacking it on top and that gets you a really beautiful background very quickly. Here's another one with all the little birdies on top. Um, here you've got one that is really simple um, for Christmas as well with a beautiful lantern on the side. You've got some of the birdies on the top. Um, so lots of variations, whether you want to keep it simple or you want to add a lot of accents to it. So you get to choose how you want to um, utilize those for this Christmas season. Love how the paper is the hero in the background and then just adding those stamped sentiments uh, or stamped images on top really just pulls that all, all together. And I thought this card was really pretty on how those little birdies look completely different with this color scheme for Christmas. So if you like traditional colors, you can totally go that way or you can always go back and do more traditional or, and non-traditional colors. So here's one with a slimline card using those birdies. So regardless of which card size you like to make, these are going to be perfect um, for that. Love, love how the windows in the background with those beautiful um, accents of the paper, so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I just wanna go create Christmas cards now, right? Oh my word. But I'm like, sometimes I'm like, it's too early, but you know, it's never too early to get started because I know for some of us, we are right in the height of summer. It's like, who wants to uh, talk about Christmas? But Christmas uh, collections have been an all time favorite with heartfelt creations. And so over the years, so many of you have um, just gotten those different Christmas collections and these are uh, the iconic, classic, heartfelt creations, Christmas collections that you have come to love. And I'm just so proud of how these have all come together uh, to really bring you a heartfelt Christmas card this year. And then here are the glossy accents, utilizing the poinsettias and those beautiful papers. So I can't wait for you to experience 
the joy and beauty of bringing these uh, festive Christmas collection into your craft room. If you don't have it yet, I've added the links below for quick and easy ordering. Thank you so much for watching and for being part of the Heartfelt Creations crafting family. I'll see you next time. Bye.